Hey everyone! Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my page. How you guys doing? Welcome back, guys. I am so, so happy, guys. I'm just happy, really. I am so, so, so happy. You don't even want to imagine how happy I am. I'm so, so happy, guys. I am super, super happy. Hi. What, what's up? I hope I pronounce that well. Thank you for joining. How are you doing? Thank you for joining. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my live stream. Please, as you're coming in, like and share the video. It's very, very interesting. Hey, Holland. Holland, have you seen Cora's last video? Did you see her video? Did you see Cora's last video? Hmm. Hey, sis. I am so, so happy. Really. I am super, super happy. Really, I am so, so happy. I've never been this happy. First and foremost, for those stealing Cora's content, she's begging you guys to stop going to her page to download her videos. It is called stealing. I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, not 100% okay because I don't know what I ate. My body is, my skin is, a, is reacting to something. I have a bit of, okay, not all over my body, just my neck. Some ratchets. I don't know if you guys can see some ratchets. But I just put in some oil now. My baby oil, I just put it on. Let's see how it's going to look like for tomorrow. Now, Cora told the so-called bloggers that they should start uploading her videos. I mean, I mean, um... Yes, uploading her videos. They basically go to her page, download her videos, and they just edit the video, take the parts they want to use, twist it the way they want to twist it. It's one thing to go to her page to download her video. It's another thing to go to her page, download the video, then edit the video, cooking up lies and just saying rubbish. Now... Our main purpose of being here today is the fact that she said she was actually abused while she was in the marriage. You know, we were here yesterday talking about abuse and I couldn't really say anything because there's no time Cora ever came out and said that her ex abused her. But today she said it with her own mouth that she was abused. That she was abused. And then she also said... That if there's any news that you're hearing out there, if there's anything that you're hearing out there, people are saying that you should come to her page to confirm that you shouldn't just be going around and just being like believing what people are saying out there. Like, I just even understand why people just, you know, that's even why I'm here. When I see any false news out there, I react on it and say it is a lie. Because people tend to say what they don't know. Cora, thank you so much for making this video this tonight. Thank you so much. And she also said some group of Nigerian men are all laughing at her, making mockery of her. Saying that she's miserable. That now that her, her husband left her. Okay, initially it was her husband that actually left her. He did that just to threaten her because at the end of the day we all saw what happened because at the end of the day it was cora that now seek for divorce yes i'm even happy that you know probably sometimes in life if things happen and you don't really know what is a god is about to do in your life probably as it being what happened didn't happen courage uh, cora would never have had the courage to leave so, at the end of the day, what happened actually happened for a reason. It happened for her to have the courage 
to live. Probably our ex uh, brother in law never ever taught. Maybe he taught as far as the marriage was very, very important to Cora. Cor Cora cherished her family. Probably he thought Cora would never do a thing like that. That's why he just came out and did all he did. Thinking in his mind, deep down in his mind, that Cora was never ever going to seek for divorce. Ask for divorce. I'm so, so happy. She said for all those people thinking that that she has lost it, that she's crying because she, like the day that or that day, she said she did a video just to let us know a lot of haters will be for the shock of their, exactly. Of course, they are going to watch that video and for sure, and for sure, they are still going to still download this video, still edit it and still lie on top of it because this is basically their, their job. That's what they do. Sorry guys, I'm drinking hot tea. I'm drinking hot tea. Hey. Wow. Cora, thank you so so much. Nigerian men, some of Nigerian men were saying that um our our former brother-in-law was in cruise control. That's the word she used. Cruise control. And then she said, even if she's been giving 20k dollars. Do you know what 20,000 is? Dollars. That she's never going to go back. That she's never, never, never going to go back. Never. That she came out inside fire. That she was actually inside the fire before. Now she said she's not trying to tell anyone to leave her marriage. But she advised those that are in abusive marriages that they should run for their life. Because there's one idea that some Nigerian women have that when you are in a marriage, even if you're being maltreated in the marriage, you're supposed to be there because you want to be addressed as somebody's wife. You want to be addressed as Mrs. So, so, so. But she advised if you want to be okay, you have your, you want to have your mental health checked that you should run for your life. She said she once had a neighbor near her house that she had half, half of her face all paralyzed. Paralyzed or, um, what was that word? Um, mm. Hold on now. I've forgotten the word she used. Did I write it down? I'm going to remember. I'll remember later. Has, has you come long? Please look and share, guys. Oh, oh, please like and share. Like and share. She don't want him because she, he has fight for. Mavis, you got it all wrong. It is she. Cora is the one that fight for the divorce, if you don't know. Cora is the one that fight for the divorce. Yes. Of course, paparazzi probably, all he was saying was out of anger. And probably he didn't mean to go this far. Probably he was pushed by the so-called bloggers. Because if you don't take care, you see these bloggers, they will twist things around and say some things that before you start, stroke, God bless you. Stroke. You were really there. You were actually there. God bless you, Holland. Yes. She said she, want, she once had a neighbor... This neighbor was so, so beaten by her husband that her face, half of her face got stroke. She was there because she wanted to be married. Now, there's one thing a lot of people don't understand. The Bible does not, con does not like divorce. But if you're in a marriage and your life is at is a, is, is a stake, you are, you are, you are, you are in, in a danger. Your life is in danger. You don't stay in a marriage when your life is in danger. There's a difference between you being in a marriage and there's no, your life isn't in danger. There's no problem. And you decide that because we actually have people like this. We actually have people that they are in a marriage. They just wake up one day and decide to leave. That one is totally different. It is totally different. I am not advising anyone to leave their marriage. 
But when your life is at stake, when the man is using you as a punching bag, when you are being used as a punching bag, and you know when someone is using you as a punchy bag, it could also even be viber abuse. It could be emotional abuse. And we all know that all of that can lead to, your life can, can, can be in danger with all of that. You all know that. I'm not saying now that maybe you're, you're just having minor um, uh, uh, challenges in your marriage. You just pack your load and go. No, that isn't what I'm saying. No. There's a big difference when your life, when your sanity is at, is at stake. So don't get me wrong, okay? Do not get me wrong. You all see, like, yesterday that people were saying it, I couldn't say nothing because there's no time Cora ever said it. But she said it herself that her ex was very, very abusive. And she said we should hold on that she's writing a book. I, for sure, will be the first to buy that book. I, for sure, will be the first to buy that book. I am very, very interested. I want to read from the very beginning of the book to the end. Yes. Whoever that gave me stars, 